Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel and let's get ready to cook a good old fashioned classic brown beef stew recipe. Get your ingredients together. Here I have about two pounds of meat. You could definitely go in with more meat, anywhere between two to five pounds. I have this meat sit in some Cajun seasoning overnight. Now this is just that brown stew meat that you get already cut up. We're gonna keep it simple today, but definitely feel free to go in with the chuck, two tablespoons of Worcestershire, a quarter cup of flour, use up to a half a cup, even a whole cup, depending on how much meat. I just like enough to coat my meat and get it ready to go into a hot pan where I have grapeseed oil, high temp oil for this, and get that meat brown on each side. Now if you don't brown your meat everywhere, usually I don't typically crowd the pan like that, it's okay. So let's get two tablespoons of butter to get up that fawn with those veggies. I have a whole onion and a leek, uh, so let's get those leeks in. If you don't have leeks, that's completely fine. I have three carrots and parsnips. Feel free to use whatever root vegetables you like. Feel free to add them in later if you like them to be a little bit more firm. I just wanted to do a one pot and go tonight and keep it moving. Here's our celery and after those onions and leeks caramelized, we're gonna add those veggies in, mix them up with the fun and get up all those flavors off the bottom of that pot. So you can definitely use a wooden spoon that'll help you get some more of that flavor off, but hey, I had what I had in my hand and we just want to keep it moving. So I have six clover garlic, garlic here. I love garlic, but you can use less or more if you like. Six cloves was just my nice spot. I have two tablespoons of tomato paste, about a half a tablespoon of better than bouillon beef. Now, if you don't have better than bouillon, it's definitely not the end of the world. Here I have onion powder, garlic powder, salt, Cajun seasoning, rosemary, thyme, and chicken bouillon. Now, I'm usually a fresh herb type of person, but I know that sometimes I don't have fresh herbs and I actually ran out. I use them all on other recipes throughout the week. And trust me, I do eat more than pot roast and stew meat. I have small bottles of wine, white and red. Those are the best ways to get your wines for recipes like this. That's a cup of wine going in. That was a perfect cup. I don't have to worry about saving the wine, reserving it, forcing myself to drink it or use it. Four cups of broth, here we go. And then we're gonna get our crock pot put on high and get that meat and this veggie mixture right in there. So that crock pot is on high, we're gonna pour in the meat, then the broth and veggies, and then we're gonna let that sit for about two hours, get our potatoes in, and then we're ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. Please read description below for ingredients. You have yourself a great day, and let's eat.